First of all, I just want to welcome you all to the inaugural EPA and National Climate Dialogue Conference on Climate Change. I wanted to start on a, on a positive note. Uh, we've had the Citizens' Assembly, the Joint Theroctus Committee on Climate Action, the imminent All of Government Plan, uh, our younger citizens telling us that not enough has been done, and then most recently last week, the Doyle announcing an emergency for both climate change and biodiversity. So all in all, I think for those of us working in the climate area for many years, things are starting to look up. The, the purpose of today is it's really all about creating a forum for learning, for information exchange, for networking. Um, we've been running conferences in areas like water and air quality and environment and health for a number of years. So in the EPA, we felt there was a gap in the climate area, and the intention for this conference is that it will be an annual event. The first one here is in Dublin, but we would be hoping to move out to the regions of the country in future years, possibly in association with the Climate Action Regional Offices, um, and of course also with the National Climate Dialogue. So keep an eye on, the, on, on that in the future. This is the first one, and we're hoping that there'll be many others. The other thing I just wanted to say about the event is that it's not the only event that we organize with the National Climate Dialogue. So we have, the, we have our normal climate lectures that many of you will have been at. And uh, the next one is this coming Friday. And you will have an opportunity to hear um, Dr. Edward Cameron again speak in, in more detail. You'll have more time um, on Friday for, for that particular delivery. So that's all in the Mansion House at 7 o'clock. Uh, on this coming Friday. So, you, so please come and let everybody know about it as well. Um, we also last year um, had our first two regional gatherings of the, the National Dialogue in Athlone and Tralee. And they were really successful. There were a couple of hundred people at each. And uh, the feedback from them was very good. So we're, we're planning more events of that type in the future. And again, you, you, will, you will hear more about that. It just in thinking about the, the challenge of, of climate leadership, um, there are some tensions, some opposites that are, that are really worth thinking about here. Like, first of all, there's the existential crisis facing humanity and, and all other living organisms on the planet versus the huge opportunity to reimagine and build a better future, both in this country and in other countries in the world. There's the tension between despair, and it can be very easy to fall into a state of despair sometimes about climate change, but then also hope. And the whole, po like the whole job of building a better future, it, it requires hope. So hope is really important there. And the third thing then, like we need to be bold and ambitious in setting the vision, but we also need to be really practical and achievable in setting the um, in implementing the actions that are needed. And just on that, like where, where, where are we in Ireland in relation to that? And on the slide there, like I think we're on the cusp at this point of moving from the visionary what to the practical who, how, when, at what level, and at what cost. And the, 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 the key point I want to make here is that implementation is the hard work it's actually a lot easier to set the vision than it is to implement the actions. But we're getting to the point now where we really have to get on with the job of implementing actions, roll up our sleeves and, and, uh, and, and work together on this stuff. And the other thing that's worth noting you know, in relation to this is that we do live on an island. We're surrounded by water. We're in the North, the North Atlantic. We're at significant risk of sea level rise. So adaptation is really important in Ireland as well as, as mitigation, and uh, not to forget that. So today, um, what I'm hoping is that in the course of the discussions today that we'll create more light than heat, and let's make it fossil-free light if we can, that we base our discussions on good manners and good science, respect diversity of views. And I think particularly in the climate area, this is really important because there's no one, no person, no organization has got all the answers to this, this challenge. It's just too big. 
So it, so it requires a diversity of views in, in order for us to, to deal with the issues. And let's look for the common ground where we can collaborate and work together. And just to give you an example of that, if you take the agriculture area, where there's a, a wide diversity of views about the future of agriculture in Ireland, but if you take three things, for example, we want our rural communities to thrive and flourish and prosper, not to wither and die. So in planning the future of, 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 of the, the rural stuff that happens in this climate area, that, that's something I think that we can all agree on. The second thing, if we do things really cleverly in terms of interventions like tree planting, for example, we can get multiple benefits for water, for climate, for air quality, for nature, and for farm families. And the third thing, many homes and many farms in this country could be generating, they could be their own power plants in terms of the generation of, of, of energy. Um, and Ireland as a country could be a test bed for that kind of thing, for how, like how communities become transformed in relation to the, to, to the, the generation of electricity. So there's, a, so there's a lot of common ground there, and I think if we can focus on the common ground, we're far more likely to, to, to make progress. Um, there was a guy, uh, some of you may listen to Countrywide um, on RTE on, on Saturday mornings, and uh, a couple of weeks ago there was a farmer on, his name was Jared Deegan, and he's from Mullingar, and he's just recently moved from, from dairy into forestry. But he had, he had a really nice thing to say at, at, at the end of his interview. He said, you be the change you want to see. You be the change you want to see. In other words, don't be looking to other people to, to make the change. The change starts here and, and with all of us here in the room. Now, um, the, we were thinking in organizing the conference about how we can engage the audience. Um, in, in a different way. So we're trying something out today, which is using a thing called Slido. And uh, the details of it are on the, are on the slide there. Um, so during the course of the day, we've got a number of questions for, to poll the audience on. And uh, we, we, we're inviting you all to, to get involved in this during the day. It's very easy to join. You just go to www.slido.com. Um, the password is hashtag EPACon in, in capital letters. And we're going to hold the poll open until tomorrow. So if you don't get a chance to look at these questions today, you could do it this evening or, or in the morning. Um, and then we'll share the findings um, through the, the EPA Twitter uh, at EPA Ireland um, over the next few days. So the, the questions are, are, are relating to the themes that, that we're talking about today. So we should get some really interesting feedback, I hope, in relation to, to that. And finally then, just while you're all here, I wanted to take the opportunity to uh, say a few thank yous. Um, first of all, to all my colleagues in the EPA uh, who've worked really hard to make today happen, and they're too numerous to mention. I'll be here for the rest of the morning li listing them all out, so you all know who you are. To all of the speakers, chairs, and panelists who've given their valuable time to be um, with you all today, and particularly to Edward Cameron, Maria Vasilako, and Charles Sable, who've travelled uh, from abroad to be with us. To the Minister um, for joining us here today and taking time out from his busy schedule. To the staff here in the Aviva and Grooveyard who've helped with the organization and running the event. And most importantly to you, the delegates, for coming here and giving of your valuable time to, to spend the day here um, discussing this, this important topic. There's a feedback form on the back of the program. At the end of the day, we'd ask that you fill that out. And you might also leave your badges um, at the reception um, as well before you leave so we can reuse them. And just to mention that the presentations will be online on the EPA website um, after, the, after the conference. You'll be able to get, get, get them there. And most of all, enjoy the day. It's a, it's a day for all of us to, to really think about this, this important issue. So let's get the most out of it and uh, all the best.